Okay, my name is Terry Dean Nemers, and I've been maliciously arrested twice in Lawless Pope County, Minnesota, for engaging in legal activities, all right? Um, on July 6th, 2011, and on September 7th, 2011, all right? I, and today is September 23rd, 2011. I've just returned a short time ago from my uh, kangaroo court hearing down there for, for both my alleged omnibus hearings, which is we're supposed to be discussing uh, evidence. All right? And then the, if you want to see more information, you go to lionnews00.blogspot.com. So I'm going to hit the five essential points that, uh, that went over both of these um, alleged hearings. And uh, actually, what I'm going to do is I'll cut to the chase. Both were put back because uh, the discovery was not provided, as they had alleged in my first case. And they don't have the, the uh, discovery ready, uh, at least all of it. They don't have the video ready in my second one. But they did give me a bunch of paperwork today, uh, three witness statements. Of course, they were all township board members. And uh, in the statements, they specifically state that other people witness this but of course uh, you know it's a trumped up case so they only take witness statements from the you know to support their bullshit the false charges and of course that's why um, obviously my charges were amended from three misdemeanors in my second case to two misdemeanors and a gross misdemeanor because I specifically stated it'd be pretty embarrassing for uh, these elected officials to uh, be make caught being make making false statements on uh, on uh, video okay so that's why now allegedly I'm, I'm supposedly getting this video which of course hasn't shown up and the internal video from the sheriff's department with uh, the sheriff uh, I, um, asking me if I want to file a criminal complaint and I tell him to fuck off is allegedly on this too and they did admit that a certain part of it will be edited okay where the um, I'm there no with those two women there okay because remember Thuggo before he throws me out there's two witnesses here, two women that he's dealing with, and a worker here. All right. So I kept on complaining, saying, hey, you haven't given me my discovery yet. You claim that you have it all, but I haven't got witness statements from these people yet. Oh, we never took any. Yeah, I know that, because you're, they're not in the discovery, are they? I don't know the names of them. Oh, and they objected uh, quite strenuously that I, I would have to be given those. Because they said, you know, it's a secure facility, and... Uh, there's no reason why I should be given this kind of stuff because my alleged crime took place outside of the secure facility. And he, cause, So then he's saying that um, I was acting perfectly legally inside the sheriff's department. So that means when I had my camera filming this secured facility, I was acting completely legally. Which means that Thuggo here was breaking the law by throwing me out, saying I can't have my camera in there. Because when I was in there before, I was acting perfectly legally. See? So they just shot themselves in the foot with that one. Oh, and by the way, this Deputy Gary Wold, I shook his hand again today, so. So anyhow, um, that was that. Uh, let's see, what else? Oh, so now, uh, and then I also complained that there was like 13 people over there at the township board meeting, and, uh, you know, they didn't take witness statements from any of the other people. There's only like three people they took statements from. And uh, it's hilarious, these, you know, they contradict themselves and say, complete bullshit that doesn't match the camera obviously that's why they're they're holding off on giving me the video because <laughs> it is bullshit what they're saying obviously doesn't match what what reality is okay so uh that again i asked him specifically what's going to happen if i put up this youtube judge says oh you know you're you've been given these vague uh these vague um restrictions on your bail so you have to follow your vague restrictions you gotta you gotta invent you know whatever the um whatever we're thinking you gotta come up with whatever we're thinking in our head and what's roth's thinking in his head or neil nelson's thinking in their head you know to trump up some charge against me to have me arrested then you know send a swat team to raid my house and steal all my computers and stuff like that so obviously that's what that's all about okay Let's see, object, oh, and then I specifically said for each one of these cases, I said, I know they want to take, the state wants to take these to trial. So I said, um, I want to know if the state objects to me um, having a, if, to have a videotape, because in Minnesota you can videotape your trial if both parties agree. And of course, the state doesn't want that to happen. Why? Well, I'm going to make their witnesses look like a bunch of jackasses in the court hearing, or at the trial. I'm going to make 
the, the prosecutor, Neil Nelson, and, and Todd Roth look like a bunch of jackasses during the trial. Because I can show clear, precise, unquestionable evidence that it's bogus charges, they've tampered with evidence, they've withheld evidence, you know. So why would they want to have it videotaped? See, that's why they don't want to have it videotaped, because it's complete farce from beginning to end, and they don't want me to have that evidence to spread out to the world. And that's why they don't want to have it videotaped, all right? Oh, and then um, also my alleged omnibus hearing was supposedly a uh, arraignment also for my second trumped-up charge. Because the first one, uh, I think they kind of got off kilter, you know, maliciously uh, filing contempt of court charges against me for refusing to stand for Menace when he came in. Actually, what happened was Menace comes in, asks me who I am, and I ask him who he is because he just has no name tag up there on the bench. This time they had uh, one for um, the uh, kangaroo court judge today. So then he, uh, I say, uh, well, aren't you the judge who illegally threw me out of your court for exercising my religious beliefs? Then he starts this uh, trumped up uh, contempt thing. So I end up in jail for, for 10 days. So he kind of forgot about asking me what my plea was. So we had to do that today. But actually, on the MP remote, you can see that he already put in no uh, not guilty for all three charges before. So, you know, it's left hand doesn't know what the right hand is doing. I mean, it's just a complete farce is what it is. So at that time, I was supposed to be booked in, but they didn't do that. So today, I had to be booked in for this this misdemeanor. So I, you know, went down there and uh, got my fingerprints, got my mugshot, and I said, well, you're going to make sure that, I, that you aren't going to wait till I'm walking off the stage here before you take the picture like the last time all right because that's what um, the deputy did the last time um, for my uh, first malicious arrest okay so I'm, I'm standing there with my lip down like this and I'm walking off so I'm gonna I'm gonna put in a request to uh, the sheriff's department there and uh, see if I can get my pictures my mug shots so you can see what kind of bullshit they pull down there Anyhow, maybe they're watching this video and they just uh, send it to me. Because I did ask the deputy about it, so he said he's going to put in a voicemail to Darlene, or Darnell. And uh, so I, he said that I should call her. See, so now I've been told by a deputy to call down there, so I can't be claimed to be um, harassed. And my mother was a witness to this conversation, too. So, so uh, you yeah, know, we'll see what they do. But anyhow, after I'm leaving the, the law enforcement center there in... Um, in uh, Pope County, or in Lawless Pope County Sheriff's Department, guess who's standing outside the door? Thuggo here, standing right in the middle of the uh, the hallway there, you know, facing away from the door. And then uh, as I walked past him, ignoring him, my mother said he walked back a little bit, so I presume that was, you know, one of these attempts to, to provoke me into some sort of uh, reaction. Of course, it didn't work. But again, I got it documented. So uh, I think that's pretty much it. It's it's pretty confusing, but I'd like to thank the two people who did show up. One, I have no idea who it was, some lady, and another guy who was there at a previous hearing. So thanks for showing up. And, you know, all the other people who could who said they are going to show up and didn't show up, well, maybe you can come on the next time. But again, I, I welcome anyone to come and uh, give these people a call and ask them how come they don't want to have my uh, kangaroo court trial uh, videotaped. Okay? Thank you for your time. Did you like that one? No, I am cute. You know See? What? Come on in. Yeah, I am going to come on in. You know, in fact. Oh, no, which, which one is it now? Let's go outside. Am I going inside or are we going outside? What are we going to do now? See, so, I got witnesses you here. Do this in the hallway? Yeah, let's do it in the hallway. Is I'm going to take my, yeah, I'm gonna take my complaint right here. No, see, I, I need some witnesses here. I'm being harassed by this asshole here.